But the good news is, you already are rich. I know you don't always feel that way. When the bills come in, you certainly know that you're not as rich as you wished you were. But the fact of the matter is that you are rich. I'm rich. I know I am. I realised it when I was seven years old. When I was seven, we went to London for a holiday. And I remember saying to my dad, Oh, Dad, I never thought we'd be able to go to London for a holiday for a whole week. And not only that, but this year we've bought a car. And, get this one, a fridge. Now, I, uh, when I went to annoy my daughters, tell them, you know, we didn't used to have a fridge. We used to have a stone and you'd put things on the stone to keep them calm, the slab. But when I was seven, I realised we must be very wealthy. We'd gone on holiday to London, we'd got a car and we'd got a fridge. Little did I know how life would change and how much richer I would be now. Do you know that every 30 years in this country, the wealth doubles. So the amount of money that you earn today for the job you do, in real terms, in terms of what it would buy, is twice what somebody earned for doing the same job 30 years ago. And that was twice what somebody doing the same job got 60 years, uh, 60 years ago. So we're now four times better off than we were 60 years ago. I want to take you to a house in Driglington to see an old lady. She lives in a house which has one room. One room that's not very big. It has a fire. She cooks her dinner on the fire. She does all her cooking on the fire. Her floor is made of stone slabs and it has a peg rug on it. That's a rug made out of clothes that she can no longer wear. She doesn't have many clothes. She has something nice for Sunday and then her normal work clothes for during the week. That's it. You go out of her little room into the other room, which is just a sort of lean-to scullery type of thing. It's got a sink. And it's, uh, it's got the bathroom hanging on the wall. It's a tin bath, which she brings into the front room and fills up with kettles full of water when she wants her bath. I went upstairs. And as I got to the top of these very rickety stairs, I could see just one bed. No carpet on the floorboards. A cupboard and a little uh, chest of drawers. And the window out into the backyard, from which you could see the rest of her bathroom, which was across the yard. Now you're thinking, David, when did you go see this lady who lives in Driglington? It's only a mile and a half away. Has it been last week or the week before? Well, it's actually 50 years ago. Because the old lady was my grandma. And that's how she lived in the last year of her life. To be honest, if she lived like that now, social services would be round there every day trying to take her away and provide her with a very much better quality of home. But 50 years ago, that was how my grandmother lived. If she could come to my house now, she would be amazed. She'd look and she'd say, David, you've got a house the size of mine, but yours doesn't have an upstairs. And I'd say, no, Grandma, that's because I keep the car in it. I have a house as big as my grandma's just to put my car in. How rich am I? People ask people, they do surveys, they're always doing surveys, aren't they? They do surveys and they say to people, what do you think it would be to be rich? How much money would you have to have coming in each year? Now, remember, in this country, the average income 
is £24,000 a year. That's the average income. And they said to people who earn the average income, how much do you think you would need to... And they say, are you rich? And they say, no, I'm not rich. And they say, how much would you need to earn to be rich? Well, if I earned £48,000, then I'd be rich. And they go to people who are earning £48,000. And they say, are you rich? And they say, oh, no, I'm, I'm doing very nicely. But I'm not rich. No, 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 I'm not rich. And uh, they said, how much would you need to earn to be rich? Well, I earn £48,000 a year. I think 96000 to, you know, £9,500 a year. And I'd be rich. Well, you would be, wouldn't you? But you see, I know people who earn 96 to 100,000 pounds. I know people who earn a little bit more than 100,000 pounds a year. And they never say to me, David, since I got to be rich. In fact, they don't act like they're very rich at all. I don't think they feel like they're very rich. Because, you see, actually, they still have credit card bills, they still have electric bills. And they still, if you were to say to them, are you rich? They'd say, no, not me. No, I, to be rich, you'd have to be on a couple of hundred thousand pounds a year. Our MPs are in the top 5% of income earners in this country. And they have to fiddle their expenses to make ends meet. Because it's a disgrace on the earning, I think it's 64,000 pounds a year to be, to, to be uh, an MP. It's a disgrace. Most of us, they're rich, but they don't feel it. 